Should you host with Webflow? Let's talk about it. Spending the day at my client's office, finalizing work on a new website that we're working on. I shared with you last week that we started working on a CMS website and Webflow for a restaurant business and today we're finalizing it and going to present it to the client later on. I think this is a great opportunity to talk about hosting with Webflow. Tons of you have been asking about it so I kind of want to share my perspective as to what are the pros, cons, how I see it and how I use it. So. Actually, when you're working in Webflow, there are two things that you can do. You can either export the code and then send it to your client or the developers as deliverables. They can do whatever they want with it, upload it to their servers or whatever. Or you can uh, host it with Webflow and just connect the domain. And that costs extra and that's why a lot of people have been asking about it. So let's start with what are the pros, why you should be hosting with Webflow and why it's great. The first thing I think, which is pretty obvious, is that you get the ability to keep editing the website and doing iteration and improvements on the design with Webflow while the website is live. And let me, let me share two stories around that. When we've built the New Schools blog like two, two years ago, we used Webflow to design it, which was great, but there was no CMS at the time, so we've exported the code. And then we gave it to Ayal, he connected it to WordPress and we've been running it on WordPress and hosting it on our own. Now every time that we need to do a change to this website, do a little iteration on the home page, do a new CTA at the end of an article or, or something like that, I have to kind of re redo the Webflow project and then give it some new classes so that I can export the code again. I can scan only what are the new styles and codes and re you know edit the the wordpress site and it takes us a bunch of time like a lot of time now when we create a new blog lior's new blog scared and excited we've just created a, on the webflow cms and every little design iteration or fix that we want to do i just do it in minutes within webflow and boom published and it's live so it saves us a lot of time the ability to keep just editing it second example my own website ransegal.com which i haven't updated for like over two years also created on uh, Webflow and I was thinking I'm not gonna update it a lot so why should I hold to them I just export the code and I have my own hosting so I've uploaded on my own uh, server and then I guess I just deleted the, the Webflow project because I had too many projects I reached my, my plans limit and then I deleted it and now you know a year has passed I want to update my website what do I have to do? Actually download the HTML, edit the HTML, upload images. It's just such a hassle that I never do it. And you know, if it was just a click, you know, to edit in, in Webflow, I'd probably edit it and update my website much more. But it's such a hassle right now that I just don't do it. By the way, I need to create a new website. I will be doing that pretty soon, I hope. So that's the first advantage of hosting with Webflow. You can edit your published website super quick. Second uh, thing that I think is like a killer feature is CDN. If you don't know what CDN is, it means Content Delivery Network. And here's another story, uh, which I, I didn't know what CDN was. We've built, again, the New Schools uh, blog two years ago, and it was a really image-heavy blog. And we've started to realize that it takes a lot of time for the images to load. And then I learned that there's something that's called CDN. If you're just having a normal hosting, then it means your website is hosted on one website. And if you're far away globally from that server, it means the website is very, very slow. CDN means that your website and images are actually hosted on a bunch of servers around the world. And no matter where you are, the website is like super quick. So every website that Okay, and in our website, in the New School website, we've actually had to implement CDN on our own with Amazon. It was complicated, it was expensive, and now any website hosted uh, on Webflow has this automatically, so that was another reason why we've hosted Lior's new blog on it. It also, Webflow also makes the images responsive automatically, so it just makes your website super, super faster, and that's worth, you know, paying for. Third, 
third pro, I guess it's obviously the CMS, right? I've been, <laughs> I've had to sell website to clients like WordPress and have to train them on editing their sites on WordPress. And it's, let's say it's not fun. I've been training a client and that's what I'll be doing today, training clients on the Webflow CMS and it's such a pleasure because it's so seamless and easy and fun to edit content on um, Webflow CMS content that it's just super, super great and I think clients are actually willing to pay for that. So that's that's basically the, the greatest I think uh, that I can think about, the, the pros of hosting with, uh, with Webflow. Let's think about the cons. The con, first of all, is I guess it's the price. A lot of people think that, I mean, it's obviously it's a bit pricier than normal hosting, and that might be a pain for somebody if you're a freelancer and you want to host your own personal uh, portfolio website, then maybe you're wondering why should I pay $15 a month? I can pay $5 a month. Uh, so that perhaps that might be an issue. But again, for me personally, when you take into consideration the, how much faster the editing is and the CDN, I think it's worth the money. You know, when you think about a it yearly, it's, I don't know, 50 or or $100 difference. I don't think that's, you know, that much of a, uh, of a difference. And when I sell it to clients, the clients, it, don't think about when they think about it yearly at least my clients thinking about the difference between fifty dollars here or there they don't really care for it but the second second thing which I think is kind of a con and you really have to consider when you're doing uh, hosting with Webflow is if you're doing client work like I do then you have to sell them the, the, the fact that you are going to have to host with Webflow and that's not that obvious because a lot of clients already have hosting already uh, pay for that so they're wondering why should I pay for that again why should I pay more why should I work with a company that sometimes they don't know this company and perhaps they don't trust it so you actually have to sell it to them and that's not always easy that's also what we're gonna have to do today but uh, again I really deeply believe in it and I think it's a great product and it's totally worth the money so I do that I do that but it's you have to understand that it's I guess you can say it's a bit of a hustle and it's it's an extra work that you have to do um, so that might be a con I don't I can think about anything else so if you if you can think about any other cons or or idea please put them in the comments so we can have like an open discussion about this I'm super interested um, basically so let me sum it up basically I think that if you have a website that is image heavy and that you're gonna keep updating it I think Hosting with Webflow is totally the right solution for you and it's great and it's valuable and it's totally worth the money. If you have only a, you know, a personal website or something that's not going to be dynamic, not going to be updated, um, you don't need it to be super, super fast, then perhaps just download the code and host it on your own if you already have a hosting. That's more or less how I see it. Anyway, let me know what you think. I got to go back to the office to finalize this website. All right, presentation went fine. Of course, I made a silly mistake with the style that fucked up the homepage, but unfortunately, the client didn't pay attention to this and I quickly fixed it while we were presenting. But overall, I think it was a success. He liked the CMS. I realized that there's one thing that I forgot to mention about Webflow hosting, and that is that it's secured by SSL certificate. And I didn't know how important it was until we tried to make payments, implement payments on the new school uh, website and we didn't have SSL and so we couldn't embed payment forms and I all told us how complicated it is to do SSL certificates so we still don't have that. So that's another thing that you might want to consider when you're choosing or not choosing Webflow hosting. Anyway, I'm running home right now to catch dinner with Tommy and Noah. Hope you guys have a great day. I'll catch you tomorrow.